Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show us how to do matrix multiplication in using NumPy and PyTorch uh, in Python and in Google Colab. Now the um, matrix multiplication is a more informed way of doing the dot product. Uh, the one requirement is that um, the column of the first matrix um, and the row of the second matrix has to be the same. So like, for example, if you have a three by two matrix, which is three row and two column of the first one, and you, know, and you multiply that with a two by three matrix, which is two row and three columns, uh, that's allowable. And your, your resulting matrix is three by three. If you have like, for example, three by two times three by two, that would not work because um, uh, the two and three does not um, uh, match, does not equal to one another. Now, if you take a look at um, the um, notebook right here, you see that the first thing I do as always is to in, uh, import NumPy and the PyTorch library or Torch library right here. Uh, in the second uh, cell right here, I'm creating um, a three by two matrix uh, using the integer random integers of, uh, uh, of the NumPy uh, uh, library. Uh, the random integer method right here, uh, right here. What it does right here is that it'll uh, pick a random number between one and 10. You can specify uh, the lower and the upper, and then you can specify the shape that you want the matrix to be in the situation is three by two. The second example is also from one to 10, but two by three. And the third one is uh, three by two. Uh, and I, uh, I put this result into variable X, Y, and Z, matrix X, matrix Y, and matrix Z. And I printed out right here, X, Y, and Z, as you can see. Now, if you run this thing again, uh, every time you run it, it's gonna give you a different number because uh, it's gonna draw randomly the number between one and 10 and put it here. Okay, so here's matrix X, matrix Y, and matrix Z. You can see right here is uh, uh, three rows, three rows, two columns, right? This one is two row and three column. And the third one, the Z one is similar to uh, uh, the X, which is, um, three rows and two column, three by two. So to multiply, um, to multiply, um, do matrix multiplication in NumPy, you have this function math uh, MLU, which, uh, which is a short notation for matrix multiplication. And uh, this one right here, I'm doing X and Y. Uh, the order the, is the matter in this situation, if I do Y and X, you know, if I uh, it'll give an error right here. Okay, so if I do matrix multiplication X and Y, um, it's going to give us the result right here. And basically what it does is that it's going to go do a dot product of rows and columns. So for example, if you take a look at um, this one right here, right? Number 24, which is the first row and second column. So what happened is that um, we'll take the uh, first row. Uh, first row is of, of X, which is five, nine right here. And the second column is, uh, uh, three and one right here. So if you do the dot product of that, this right here is 15, three times uh, five, five times three is 15, and nine times one is nine, right? And nine plus 15 is 24, see right there, right? Now another example you can see is, let's say, let's do the um, uh, second row and third column. So what, what, uh, what you would do is that you take the second row of the, um, the second row of the first vector X, right here, one and three, and then the third column is two and three. So two times two is two, three times three is nine, right? And add them together as a dot product is 11. And you do it element by, you know, element by element um, right there. And then you would get the result of um, a three by three. So you can see right here, right? If you have a two by three matrix and you multiply uh, uh, a three by two matrix X, and when you multiply that with uh, two by three, two and two would match right there, right? The resultant vector, the final vector is this right here, the, the row of the first, uh, first matrix and the column of second matrix, which is in this situation is gonna be three by three. So if this thing right here is two by three, for example, and multiply by two by four, what you have is three by four matrix as a resultant matrix. Another, another way to do matrix multiplication, which is this is a shorthand notation. You can do this as symbol right here, instead of writing this, you can say X at Y, and you can see right there, right? It will also give us the, the same result right here. 
uh, if you look at if you take a look at this cell right here, you see that um, I have a three by two, and I'm, I'm multiplied with a three by two right here, right? And when I do that, um, um, Colab uh, or Python uh, or NumPy would give us an error saying that uh, the size is different, three is different from two, right? So you have to have this number. Uh, it's either either going to be two, two or three, three. Then that matrix multiplication would work. Otherwise, if you have a size mismatch, it's going to give us um, an error, as you can see right here. Now, there's another there's another um, uh, way to multiply um, uh, in um, uh, NumPy, and you do this by <laughs> element by element. And the one requirement is that the shape has to be the same. In this situation, the shape has to be the same. So X and Z in, in this situation are both three by two. And what we do in this type of multiplication is that uh, multiply is that we multiply um, element by element Y. So let's say, for example, if you look at 30 and 45 right here, right? Or 30, uh, uh, 30 and three, okay? So go back to the original matrix. What you do is that element wise, so you take first and first, which is five and six right here, which is 30 right there, right? And nine and five is 45, so right there, right? So 30, 45, so you go, element by element, and you multiply that um, uh, uh, together and just put the result well, where the um, position is, okay? And you can see right here, right? If I try to do the multiply the, um, uh, element-wise with different shape, it will give us an error right here. Okay. Now, finally, uh, we can also do matrix multiplication using the PyTorch library. Um, so I can create a tensor, uh, three by two right here. And you notice that in this, this time right here, right, I'm using a random, um, a random um, generator. So it's gonna generate real number randomly right here, okay? And uh, the first one is three by two. The second one is uh, two by three. Now in this situation right here, I also kind of create a random number, but using NumPy, uh, uh, two by three. Uh, the reason is because uh, I want to show us that if you have um, uh, one matrix defined as um, uh, using NumPy and the other matrix de defined uh, using um, uh, PyTorch, uh, Python is flexible enough that it will let you multiply, do matrix multiplication between two different types right here, okay? So you can see right here, right? The first one is that um, doing the X and Y matrix multiplication of the same type tensor right here and it give us this result right here, okay? And then this route right here, it's just gonna route it to uh, three digit, um, uh, um, uh, uh, three digit, one, two, and three right here. So if you put two uh, in this route right here, um, right here, it's gonna route it to about 0.26 instead of 0.256 right here. You know, just this thing right here, just make thing display a little bit better. And you can see right here, right, in, in the second um, calculation right here, I'm taking X and I multiply, which is type tensor, and I multiply with, I'm a do matrix multiplication with Z1, Z sub one, um, and then underscore one. And you see that it has a type of NumPy array, and, but the, the matrix multiplication still go through. And the third example is that we can take the uh, NumPy, convert it to uh, tensor, and then give it a tie float by there, right? And then we do the um, uh, multiplication of X and Z underscore two, uh, X and Z underscore two. And of course, right, both of these give us uh, the same result right here. So these are some example of uh, matrix multiplication in NumPy and um, PyTorch right here. I hope that it'll help you um, understand it a little bit. Have a good day and um, I'll see us next time.